Hey, this is Doug, the developer of Caddy App, and this will be a quick demo of the app on an Apple Watch. So to start, you can tap courses on the home screen. Really the fastest way to find a course is using the nearby button, which shows you courses near you. Comes up with a list here. We do have over 10,000 courses, but if you don't see the one that you're looking for, there's a button down at the bottom of the screen where you can request it, and we can usually add that for you within a few days. So just select the course to move on. Uh, we have a few different options here. Play is to start around now. Preview is to just take a look at the course, including the layout and the bars and the handicaps if you're at home but not actually playing. Uh, and save lets you actually save this course to your watch so that if you go out and there's no cell cellular connection on the course, you're able to play and, and load it anyway. Always a good idea to do that uh, if you remember to. And once you save courses, they'll always be there so you uh, can always just play them without having a cellular connection. All right, right now I'm just gonna say play. So I'm gonna play 18 holes. I just wanna keep score for myself. So I'm just gonna select one and it loads the course. Gives me a couple quick hints here. The first is that I can scroll with a digital crown. I can also scroll by swiping up and down on the screen and I can double tap for distance. So once those hints come up the first time, that'll clear off. Uh, and just to go through those quickly, so the digital crown is the wheel on the side of your watch. If you actually roll that when you're on the screen, it will move up and down the hole for you so you can scroll from the T to the green and see what that hole actually looks like. Uh, you can also do the same thing by just dragging on the screen to move around. And the third one's that, one was that you can double tap for distance. So I'm gonna double tap. It's gonna go into distance mode here. Give me another hint that says that I can drag to measure. Uh, and then it's gonna come up with the actual distance here. So right now this is simulated that I've taken my second shot on this par four, I'm walking up to the green and that's why you see it actually tap, uh, counting down here because I'm actually uh, in this simulation getting closer to the green. So what it's showing me is the distance from where I'm standing to underneath this crosshair here at the center of the green. If I wanna measure to something else, I can just drag the screen around. So if I wanna see what the front of the green is, I can scroll there or move the screen there. If I wanna see what the back is, I can scroll there, it's 134. Or if I want to see the bunker, I can see that that's 96 away or really the water or anything you want to. You can move around and measure distances. So that's how distance mode works. And you can double tap to go back out of it or it will automatically switch back out after about 30 seconds. So that's how it works uh, as far as viewing the hole and getting distance. If when you're ready to record score, you can use this button at the bottom. Again, a few different hints come up here. First is you can use this pencil button to record the score or you can use this number button to quickly jump to any other hole. And there's also a button for viewing your scorecard here or, or finishing the round when you're done. So that's a, was a, a, a par four. I'm gonna record my score here. I, since this is pretend, I'll say that I got a par but, and uh, click that and it records my score and you see moves forward to the next hole. So that's basically how it works from here. You can you'll repeat that same process for every hole. You know, again, scroll up and down in order to view the layout, use the double tap to go into distance mode in order to measure your distances. And you can also use these buttons to move back and forth uh, as if you wanna just jump forward and back by one hole at a time. Once you're down, done, you click this uh, finish round button. You can click save, it'll save your details. So that's about it. If you have any questions about the app, please reach out. Thanks for watching.